Great news, a new report has come in telling us that the new 15 inch MacBook Air is to have the M2 and M2 Pro inside with its launch date not too far away. I want to tell you all the details about this new 15 inch MacBook with its specs, design and of course the MacBook Air 15 inch release date and price. But first, a bit of background knowledge of the MacBook Air. The MacBook Air was first announced in 2008 with Steve Jobs showing off the first generation. What made this notebook or laptop or MacBook unique was its form factor and essentially it kicked off the Ultrabook era for the last 12 years or so. Steve Jobs showed this small form factor by just pulling the MacBook Air out of a brown paper envelope to show how small and thin it really was. The screen size was and is still today a 13 inch display. The design wasn't perfect and caused some technical issues, but since then we've had an updated design in 2010 where the MacBook Air really took hold with a lot of users realising if you just wanted a MacBook for everyday tasks, then this was the model to buy. Apple introduced a 11 inch model as well at this time. In 2018 though, we got the third generation MacBook Air what added such features like a retina display, touch ID and an even thinner design, but the 11 inch model was gone. Then in 2020, the Apple M1 silicon chipset was added to the MacBook Air and was the first MacBook Air to be fanless and still remains today as the only MacBook to be like this inside the current lineup. So last year in 2022, we got the new M2 MacBook Air with a brand new design with an M2 chipset and returning features like the MagSafe connector. But there is great news again as we've been told that a larger 15 inch MacBook is now on its way. One thing that hasn't been 100% confirmed, if this will be called the 15 inch MacBook or the 15 inch MacBook Air. But for these videos, until it's 100% confirmed, I'll be calling this the 15 inch MacBook Air. So we've had a report come in from Mark German who has reported that the new larger MacBook Air is on its way with release of the first half of 2023. With the new MacBook Pros and the Mac Mini having an M2 Pro put inside them, German has also reported that the M2 Pro is also coming to this larger MacBook Air Plus model what is super exciting. Normal M2 chipset will also be available but one other thing that comes to mind with this news with that new larger MacBook Air is will it have a fan inside to keep that M2 Pro cool? As we already know if you fully stress a M2 MacBook Air with 4 or 8K video then it does start to throttle so the question remains unclear is how Apple will keep the brand new MacBook Air this larger model with an M2 Pro chipset inside it and how it will remain cool. But this also leads me on nicely to say that not all reports and leaks are 100% proof that they will come true with the new MacBook Air. I can only present you what I know and being told and shown. However, if you are still watching this video, then you're as curious as I am in knowing what is being said about the new MacBook Air anyway. So last year's WWDC kickstarted the M2 journey and with quite a few Macs getting the M2 chipset and now we have the likes of the M2 Pro and we also have the M2 Max. However, we've had a report saying that the larger MacBook is coming in 2023 where some are claiming production will start at the early end of 2023 ready for the spring event. But others are saying that the M2 MacBook Air Max could be coming in summer like at WWDC 2023. For the official date of an event of when the MacBook Air will be in our hands, it's a little too early to say at this point. But everything is still pointing towards spring or summer this year. We've got to remember that Apple are now updating all their M1 devices to the M2 chipset and this is a MacBook that I want to put the same chipset inside, the M2. But in my own personal opinion, at the time of making this video, I think that the MacBook Air might arrive at a spring event still in 2023 or the latest at WWDC 2023 because Apple will want to continue on their journey with the M3 next and not really talk too much about the M2 chipset because I want that out of the way and this is targeted towards this MacBook. So then guys, just very quickly, this channel recently got over half a million subscribers, what is absolutely amazing. And I gave away three different prizes. And if you want to check out who the winners were, do check out the 500,000 subscriber video, what is on my channel. So check out who won that. 
But the great news is, guys, I'm doing another giveaway. And this time, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be doing it when we hit a certain subscriber amount. We're going to be doing it in some point in June. And let me show you what the prizes are going to be this time. We've got two runner-up prizes, and the first runner-up prize is going to get their hands on this. These are some AirPods 2, and I'm going to be giving away this to one lucky subscriber. And then also we've got this here, and this is also the AirPods 3, and I'm also going to be giving this away to one lucky person too. Then the grand prize is going to be this here. It is an iPad Air M1, and I'm also going to be giving this away. But the main thing what makes everything different this time is I'm actually going to be doing a live stream in June time and revealing who the winner is right there. And the details about that are going to be coming up in a video at the beginning of sort of around June time. And you'll want to make sure that you get all the details about that. So make sure right now that you subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification bell because you won't want to miss out on the instructions for that live stream and you also don't want to miss out on the live stream too. Now also guys I just want to say there are lots of scammers, lots of spammers out there, some of them impersonating me, telling you to WhatsApp them, to telegram them, contact them by different means and also part with any of your money. This is not me at all. My giveaway is totally free and it's also an international giveaway too with free shipping included. So make sure guys that you do tune into that and also at the same time guys I would love to know what Apple gear, what technology gear you're going to get in 2023 so make sure that you do put that down in the comments below of what you're planning to get and also a cheeky like to this video would also be grateful too. And with that guys it's back to the video. So then, let's move on and do a summary of what the MacBook Air Max is going to give us and also the price. So the new MacBook Air Max, the biggest feature and the biggest change about this MacBook is that it's going to have a 15 inch display or specifically it's going to have that 15.4 inch display. This is the display that we used to have on MacBook Pros for example all the way up to when we got the 16 inch MacBook Pro and this will be an LED retina display with a resolution of 2880 by 1800. Now you might have noticed there's not a mini LED display and also it's not going to be a pro motion display. Remember this sits underneath the MacBook Pro so it's not going to get that better screen inside it. But still that LED retina display is still amazing just like what we have on the normal 13 inch MacBook Pro and also that new MacBook Air M2. That display is really really crisp. But for storage, we'll be getting a choice between 256 gigabytes all the way up to two terabytes of storage. And then inside it, we'll get the choice of that M2 chipset, what will be that eight core CPU and all the way up to that 10 core GPU. It's quite likely that that eight core binned GPU option will also be available for the MacBook Air Max. Then for RAM, you'll have the choice of eight gigabytes, 16 gigabytes or 24 gigabytes of RAM. It will be an aluminium body design similar to what we have with like the MacBook Air right now that new design but it will obviously be larger and it will have a MagSafe connector and two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports on the side. That new design again will have some new colours, we'll have that new midnight colour but we'll also still be getting that silver, space grey and gold option and then we'll probably be getting an actual notch design and that will have a centre stage webcam and that will be a 1080p camera and the battery life on this MacBook Air will probably be up to 22 hours because of that M2 chipset and the larger body frame it can retain an actual larger battery. Tree. The price will start with an 8GB of RAM option with 256GB of storage would cost $1,299, then 512GB at $1,549, US dollars, 1TB at $1,899, and then 2TB at $2,249, US dollars. So that is a spec summary for the new MacBook. But my wishes for this new MacBook is to do with the colours. I am hoping that Apple will keep rolling out that midnight black colour that we've got on the new M2 MacBook Air and for it to come on other MacBooks like this one. I'd love to have the ability to buy a midnight silver or gold or space grey MacBook Air Max when it comes out. But those are my thoughts and my current wish for the MacBook 
air. However, let me know your thoughts if you agree with this and also write in the comments below what your wishes are for the new MacBook large one that's coming out in 2023. Well guys, on that note, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching this video, please make sure you like it. And at the same time, if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons, please make sure you hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you really soon. Bye bye.